All right, guys, we got ourselves a skin from Armor Suit. We're going to be installing here on the Alienware M16 today. So we're going to go over a little bit on what we're going to be using. Got a microfiber, clean all the handprints and oil and all that kind of stuff off of this. Uh, got my switchblade, open up the uh, tape. Oh, there, I got some magazines just to lay them underneath when I put the lid down to do the bottom. Or maybe I'll do the lid first. But anyway, I don't want to scuff and scratch stuff up. Even though it's a table, surfaces are never perfect. So I always like to be pretty protective. So I'm going to use some magazines, kind of layer it out on the bottom. Uh, got my cleaning solution there. Spray a little bit on it. And of course, I got my vape. So uh, let's get this started right away. All right, so first things first. Let's go ahead and move the laptop off to the side a little bit. And look at this guy open up. It does say... Please note, solution is not needed on any carbon fiber slash vinyl film shield. So I'm assuming that this is a vinyl film shield. It's a vinyl skin, so it should be shield. So I'm assuming that's what they mean. And we went with the Alienware M16R1 matte red metallic. Should look pretty good, I'm hoping. Yeah, vinyl film. It doesn't say vinyl. Well, I guess it is. Yeah, vinyl film shield. Just doesn't say shield on here, but I'm sure they wouldn't have it marked if this didn't mean anything. So we don't need to have a liquid uh, application, which is good. A lot of times, if you're doing like tinting and you know vinyl wraps that kind of stuff, they can tell you to do, use some you know solution to help place it. I'm not going to do that on the laptop to begin with. But one thing I may end up doing. Uh, I've got a heat gun, and I may end up having to use that when I'm going around some areas here today, so. I don't have fingernails, so kind of hard to open stuff without knives. All right. Let's see what we got here. Well, she's empty. All right, let's get that off to the side. See what we got here. Just a little receipt. Got my address and stuff on there, so. Away she goes. All right, now this color don't look too bad. The color does not look too bad at all. Go ahead and get my knife moved over to the side. Open the sucker up and see what we got. Now, I do gotta say, I've already used this company once before for an ROG uh, Ally. And I was so impressed with them that I decided, let's do another order and do something bigger this time. Let's actually wrap a laptop. So here we are. That's and when I ordered from them previously, they were nice enough to give me two wraps for my ally. So I don't know if that's gonna be the same with this. Let's see. For the price point, can't really go wrong. But we did get an applicator and a microfiber cloth, which is okay. I'm gonna be using a little little bigger microfiber here to get everything cleaned off today, but the knife out of the way. I don't want any scratches on there. So, oh, they did give me two of everything. Boy, that's awful nice. So, if somebody in the comments, relatively soon, you can't be commenting like years down the road, but if somebody in the comments wants to tell me why I should give them my extra one, that might be a little premature of me saying to you because who knows if I'm going to get it applied very well. But uh, if somebody should tell me why they need it for theirs, um, let me know. Let me know in the comments. So, installation instructions. The destructions. Please watch our instructional video for any help with installation. Please turn your device off and remove its battery if possible. Make sure to wash your hands and fingertips thoroughly. Then, using the provided lint-free cloth, clean your device by removing any dirt, grime, or fingerprints. Step 2. Use the provided solution to wet your fingers on both hands. This can prevent used to provide a solution there is no solution so that's the note that they gave me at the top of the lid no solution at all um, apply the moistened shield piece to the device well we're not going to do that soak up any excess moisture on top and or around we're not going to be doing that so the only thing is we're not going to be applying super heavy super hard onto the device itself until we have positioned correctly all of the pieces um, and the vinyl how we want it so uh, 
without further ado, let's get rolling. Here's an installation guide, a little QR code. If you want, you can scan it. <laughs> Most of these are for like mobile devices, I think. Not for big ones, like, like laptops. But anyway, oh yeah. They didn't, oh they do give you a cutout. Good, for the Alienware logo. You can see it die cut, kiss cut they call it, or die cut. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. There it is. You see a little kiss cut right there for the Alienware logo. So that's gonna cut through. That's gonna look nice on there. All right, so let's move that off to the side. Let's get this bad boy all cleaned up. So of course, being a laptop, we don't wanna like soak it. We're just gonna do some light sp sprays. I'm not gonna spray in the hinge area here. I'm just gonna spray on the lid where I know it won't do damage. And then with the microfiber, once it's moist, then I'll clean the rear. And I've already shaken out this microfiber Make sure there's no fibers that are going to uh, stick. Make sure we get the edges. Down a little groove. Now we'll switch to the dry side. And we'll make sure everything is dry. All right. Ready to roll. Let's get this little pack open. Check out the little squeegee they give us. Installation squeegee. Yeah, very, very dinky, small microfiber. For a laptop, I would have liked to have seen especially for the price they charge for the laptop ones. Normally it's like 60, 65 bucks, something like that. I would have liked to see a little bit larger. You know, this is one that I would see with like a cell phone, but not a laptop. Even a larger squeegee would have been nice. But anyway, can't complain too much. At least it'll make you buy the squeegee. So, my hands are already clean. Let's pull this first piece off. And we can see that we've got a rear panel as well. So this is pretty much is a full wrap. Make sure we don't wrinkle it too much. Might have to use a heat gun to get out, to get out a couple of those little uh, creases and marks on here. Which I wasn't really manhandling it that much, so I'm not sure why it's already creased and marked up. But uh, we are going to pull it off without that Alienware logo on it. It does have a little indentation from rollers or something too, which I'm hoping comes out. You can see a little bit in the light right there. It's got a roller mark or something, and I'm assuming that's going to be on both. It is on both. I can see it on the other two. So some transfer roller marks, something. I'm not quite sure what that is, but uh, I don't think it will stand out too much once we're done. So without further ado, let's, let's get applying. Now some people claim, just do one half. Just do one half at a time. And again, really light here, guys. You don't want to pinch hard. You don't want to apply hard. You want to be really, 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 really light with this while you're getting it applied. It's a huge chunk, huge piece. Yes, it's vinyl. But we want to be super, super careful. Yes, we can lift. I can use a heat gun if I need to. We got a lot of options on, you know, if I need to. But first off, I'm going to use what we already have as an existing guide, which is the Alienware logo itself. So really lightly, we're going to position just the Alienware logo. Can you guys see that? You really can't. There's the Alienware logo. I'm positioning it on there right now. so that it's equidistant on all corners and edges and sides. Now while I'm doing this, I also need to make sure 
that the hinge is looking correct and that my layout is looking correct. I don't want this to be crooked. I only want to apply it once. That's looking pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and set that down right there. And see what the rest of it looks like. No, a little overlap. So that's not correct. We're not going to have any overlap at all. So what I might do is lay this back down. We'll do this on the side so I can use this flat edge as an actual uh, layout or a guideline, so to speak. Now the Alienware logo to me is super important and that gets positioned correctly. It may not be as important to some of y'all, but to me, that's a big one. It's a big one. I mean, like, why get it Alienware instead of a Sager or a Clevo or some other, like, no-name brand that will, you know, it doesn't carry a synonymous uh, brand legacy like, like Alienware does, you know, if you're not going to have that logo. It's the same as these, like, Apple fanboys that buy nothing but Apple. Even if it's, like, a really low-rated piece, they buy it just for that logo. Now, that's looking pretty close to me. And I've got my lines cut pretty good down here in the bottom on the hinge line. So using that as a template, we're going to just make one little mark here so it holds itself. Nothing else. Now I'm going to pull the rest off and see what she looks like. Like I said, I pushed down one little edge just so it would hold. This is the biggest piece on the whole thing. so. You need to make sure that it's pretty much perfect. Okay, that's perfect. We're going to lay down that side. That side's been laid down. Make sure that the logo still looks good. Now, the logo's not perfect. So, let's get that logo perfect. We'll worry about everything else later. Okay, logo looks pretty damn good. What I like about their vinyl too, it's pretty forgiving and flexible stuff. They use really high quality. Really high quality vinyl. There we go. We got it. All right. Start from the center. Work your way out. Nice and easy. You don't want to scratch stuff. You don't want to scuff it. There's no need for a heat gun. Looks like this is laying down just nice. The only thing I'm a little worried about is the lettering, but we're going to leave that visible because that's part of the style with this case. So make sure that this is clean before we start scraping and scratching and shit. Make sure that's clean. Now we're gonna really sink in those letters, or I shouldn't say letters, I should say the number indicator, the 16. You now if I really wanted to be anal, I could use my heat gun and really sink those in. In fact, I may end up doing that later. The thing with the heat gun though, you want to be really careful. This is a metal chassis and you might not think you heat it up too much, but that metal could collect and dissipate the heat a little bit differently and it may end up causing damage to your LCD panel. So I'm not liable for anything that you guys do or misdo or want to blame me for. Unless you want to blame me for winning a prize and you're going to give me something, then it's fine. And I'll be the first one to say, all right, yep, yeah, nope, nope, I'm definitely liable for that. So you need to roll this edge here. The edge here, I need to roll it in. 
So we're gonna roll that edge in here. And of course you can always fast forward if you don't like watching meticulous videos like this. But hey, somebody's gotta do it. And if not me, then who? And we gotta get all those air bubbles out. So we need to look and see, is there any area that has a little bit of give or should have a little bit of give to it? Um, I wanna work these air bubbles towards the center. Just depends. That one come out real good. And these, I'm gonna pull these out to the side. There we go. So we only have one left. We're gonna move that to the center. Perfect, that one's gone. It's looking really good, guys. Guys and gals. Now, I'm pushing down, but not hard. Because again, although this is a metal chassis, you just gotta know, you know, and you'll get a feel for how hard you can push things, how hard not to. Don't use your mongoloid strength, you know, just nice and easy. But yeah, it's an American owned company. Armor suit, American owned. They make them, they die cut everything, ship out, support, everything's from America. Which, being an American, I do appreciate that more than purchasing something from from China, if possible. You can't get around it with certain, you know, certain products, but something like this, like yeah, of course I'm gonna buy it from these guys. Quality's great, looks really good, they got great support, great service, prices are uh, a little higher, but then you realize that, hey, look, I got two full skins. If something happens, I've got another one. Or somebody gives me a good enough excuse on why I should give them my spare, then you have one. Anyway, boy, that looks pretty good. Now, what I like to do, I like to make sure that it's nice and seated. I'm going to do this again a couple days later. Go over everything. Now, these corners and these edges for the lettering, or in this case, the numbering. I wanna make sure that those turn out really good. So. Uh, you know what, it looks like it actually seated. I don't think I have to use my heat gun. Uh, there's a couple little edges here that I may end up grabbing my gun for. But you can use the little tapered corner there. The squeegee tool they gave you, and you should be able to get most of it uh, applied correctly. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a little unique look and feel to your, to your device. It really does. All right, so we're done with that part. Next up, we've got the top of the hinge here, and I think it's got a little bit of a wraparound, if I'm not mistaken. Let's look at it here. Uh, nope, just the top. Okay, so we're gonna do the top, just the top. <laughs> We're going to do the top here. And kind of the same as we did before, we're going to position it where we're using the flat line we've already got as a guide. We've already got our guides right here. We're going to use top, bottom, sides. You can see how to position it. Just be patient. Don't try to rush it. Now on this one, the hinges are going to be your guides because it's going to fold down on the inside just like last time. So we need to position our, our hinges first and then we'll worry about the, in, the inside here in a second. This is almost too long, but I haven't found a piece that they've cut incorrectly yet between my ROG Ally and laying down the front, the top piece there. They're pretty precise. So there's going to be a little bit of a gap on the hinge, a little bit of a gap where they're not perfectly, uh, where they're not perfectly going to like come all the way out to the edge. But there's a reason for that. It's longevity. If they went edge to edge completely, you'd have an edge part that bubbles up and it would look like garbage couple months later or depending on use and if you're throwing it in a backpack all the time or in your pocket if it's a mobile device like it wouldn't take very long for that side 
you know, if it goes perfectly edge to edge, the bubble will peel up. So there's a reason that it may not go perfectly edge to edge, and I'm fine with that because I want longevity. I want something that's going to last and look sharp as hell. And American made. So that's looking about as close as possible. I've got a tiny gap on the plastic, but I'm also leaving enough room for that hinge to go in. So I'm pretty sure I've got a good feel for where it's supposed to be. We're going to go ahead and lay this puppy down. All right, we got that side stabilized. Now we're just gonna focus on getting this side stabilized next so we have a nice, flat, perfect equidistant bar on the outer edge. In fact, we're gonna move this up just a hair so we can keep that same cut line. She blows. Oh. It's kind of relaxing. Start from the inside, squeegee that stuff out. Bam. Your fold over, don't roll this one, just fold over, press, fold, press, fold, press. We want that nice, sharp, sharp line, that 45 degree line here, we want it to be nice and sharp. So we're gonna squeegee at the top. Okay, make sure your squeegee's clean so you're not scraping and scratching and ruining that vinyl. And then we're gonna go in, once we get that nice, we're gonna flip it over so the tapered end is on the other side and we're going to basically just work that down all the way to the bottom. Pressing down, make sure it's seated really nicely. And again, I'm going to go back over and I'm going to do this later, probably in a day, maybe even later today. You always want corners and curves to adhere really nicely too. So we're going to really push that down. You can use a squeegee or your fingers for that. Push every portion down. There's no air bubbles. Laid down really nice. We're going to look over this too, make sure nothing's lifting up, make sure everything's looking good. Yeah, these corners are great. Curves are good. So far, so good. This is looking pretty sharp, guys. What do you think? I mean, gosh. Alienware M16 in this color. Metallic red matte. Like, dang, it's great. And I'm glad it's not metallic because, or I'm not, uh, I mean, gloss or mirrored because that would have been like a little too much for me. I like it a little more subdued. This color isn't like, garish either. They do have some really cool colors and some designs and you guys will have to look through them on their website armorsuit.com um, they got some really cool stuff again it's all made in the USA but yeah just armorsuit.com check them out cool company I may be able to get some type of discount or coupon from these guys I'll send them a link to this video later once it's online and uh, I'll share that with you if you guys are interested in getting some type of discount or deal. So next off, next up, I should say, I think we're gonna do the bottom before I do the, the rear control panel. So I'm gonna lay down my magazines just for a little protective base. And we're gonna do the bottom here. There we go. Same deal. Now on this one, I don't want to spray directly on it, obviously, because there's a lot of air intakes on it. So I will go directly on the rag. Little mist ain't gonna hurt. Now one thing to note, yes, it is gonna cover up my windows. You know, my little windows logo there, but does that matter? No. 
Not at all. Now, one thing I don't know, I haven't looked yet. I'm going to find out with you guys here. Does the... Does the vinyl have cutouts or die cuts or those kiss cuts? Does it have those for the screws? Because I am somebody who goes in, and as you've seen from my other videos, I repaste, um, I upgrade, and that's going to be pretty important to me. I guess if it doesn't, I can always cut them out later, but that's kind of a pain in the ass and uh, you know a missed opportunity if they you know, if they didn't actually include those die cuts. So that's what I'm hoping for. Another thing too, is it gonna cover up <laughs> my service tag or my express service tag number? That would suck, but I can always pull it off the Dell's website. So not the end of the world, but still not the best if it does. Just small little things like that to consider. Uh, what do we have here? This is for the, the keyboard area. You got your palm rest, you've got your LCD, or your, not LCD, but your uh, trackpad cover there. And you got your fan areas here. Um, so, not those. Put those off to the side. We're looking for a rear. And look at this. These guys know their shit. Although it does cover up, I don't have to use that piece if I don't want to. That covers up my uh, service tag. I don't have to use that. I could cover up, and I think I'm going to have to because I've already wrapped one portion with red. So we are going to cover that up. Um, you may always want to just take some clear tape so it's still there when you remove the vinyl at some point in the future, if you ever do, to get to your service tag. You may want to just put some clear tape over that or put some clear uh, nail enamel on there or something or clear nail polish paint a little bit over that just so it retains aside from that though um, I think we are all good because I've already got mine warrant I've already got my warranty in my system uh, registered through the Dell website so I ain't too worried nope none at all so we're gonna start off y'all by we're gonna do this one Gosh, if I can get that sucker. Really great adhesive, guys. Armor suit. Yeah, props. Okay. It's like fruit by the foot. Kind of looks like it. I'm pretty meticulous on this. We have so many areas where it's got to line up and match with. And I don't want it touching that rubber. So, actually, they don't look half bad right there. We're going to tack one little spot, leave that side lifted, and we're going to reverse this around. Let's see how she looks. Boy, yeah, that didn't turn out bad. That was an easy one. Although, I want to position it a little better. Like, I'm kind of a perfectionist, kind of a snob when it comes to uh, visuals. Why spend the money on something like this if you're not concerned with visuals, right? That's the whole point. And we're not going to have somebody come back and be like, Whoa, it would have been great if you would have positioned it correctly. Like, hey, you're off by a little bit on that side. Like, that's no good. Take your time, do it right. Or you'll regret it later. Unless you never plan to show it to anybody. There we go. <laughs> then go in, make sure there's no air. But yeah, the quality of their vinyl, man, it is it is really nice. I know I keep saying that, but it really is. It's 3M, it's wrapped film, it's specifically made for wraps. It's the uh, Series 2080, 
2080. It's made specifically for wrapping stuff. And I mean, it adheres really nice. It edges nice. It goes on uh, curves. It cuts nice. It's like, boy, it's just primo. It's very nice. Ah, oh, excuse me. Getting over a, uh, or I should say, recovering from nasal surgery. So, <laughs> little, uh, little liquidy up in there. Nasal surgery sucks, but the outcome should be should be good. So we'll see. Next up, I'm going to speed things up here a little bit, guys. Let's talk more action. Isn't that a Brooks and Dunn song or Garth Brooks or somebody? Who knows? I want to make sure that this matches with the other corner too. So I got to get down off my chair, get down a little low, and check out the side here and make sure that I match it up correctly. So that's going to be one where I probably loop this vinyl the other way, back around and I make sure that I'm not getting that on the adhesive side with the table or anything. Gonna have a couple little air bubbles to get out, but it's also looking pretty darn good. And it's matched up really nice on both sides. Yep. Dang. No overlap. Edged perfect. First shot. Yeah, man. Boy, it's like I'm a professional, but I'm not. I'm honestly not. That's just how easy to make this vinyl to work with. And of course, I'm doing this for myself. I'm not doing it for, you know some really rich client if that was the case I would probably have spent a little more time lining that last one up but I'm impressed like it actually turned out really good there's no overlap where it meets on the edges looks really nice you have a tiny bit of a gap but like I said again you don't want edges perfect if you want perfect edges you're just setting yourself up for failure later Cool. Boy, this is nice. All right, let's get this other big piece on. I think this is the second largest one out of the set. It's about the same size, probably, as the, uh, actually, it might be a little bit smaller than the uh, palm rest. I don't know. But this is another one where it's going to be really, really important to get positioning down. Make sure your hands are clean, make sure your environment's clean. Boy, that looks pretty sharp. So again, I'm gonna put down that corner. We're gonna rotate the device. Oop, and I dropped it. And we're 
and see if that looks good all around. If it does, we'll drop her. Actually, yeah, that looks really good. So we're gonna go ahead and, oh, no. I saw one little spot that was messed up. This is probably gonna be easier doing it facing you like this anyway, so you can get all of those little tabs positioned perfectly around those fan slots. Which is not hard to do, you just need, because you use each of the fan slits or the slots as guides. So you know exactly how high, how low, how, what the spacing looks like, because they're all gonna be identical, ideally. Between these tabs, the spacing with the slots is gonna be identical for each tab. So once you get those, just set them down, and the rest is history. I want these edges, they're very important to me, to be perfect. So, for me, I'm gonna start on that edge and I'm gonna work down. And a little label or something, oh, that's the uh, Windows, Windows 11 license, hologram, whatever. Couple little air bubbles, <laughs> not bad. Again, and you can actually put a little liquid if you don't want to scratch. You put a little bit of liquid just so you're not scratching it with your squeegee. Just make sure you don't get the liquid in the in the actual fan slots. I'm not liable if you guys do do that, and neither is armor suit. But just do what you got to do to make the job work for you. I probably wouldn't suggest putting this in the microwave to heat up the, the vinyl, if you need to. Or the air fryer. Although, it would have to be a pretty big air fryer to get this uh, to get this put in there. So, that's probably not going to be something that you need to worry about. Again, I'm just positioning down. I play a lot of music, so I got calluses on the end of my fingers. I'm just using those, since they're hard, to really push down and make sure all the surface area is seated nice. Okay, now we've got the edge here to do, edge strip. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and work on that next. We're gonna face it towards myself again. And let's grab the piece for that. Now this edge doesn't have any ports, so pretty easy to figure out which one that is. We're looking at this guy right here. It's got fan cutouts. And then we also have cutouts for the screws. Very cool that they did that. Did I cut the screw areas, screw holes, so that I don't have to worry later. Which we're gonna use those screw holes as guides. Making sure that they are lined up first and foremost. But we also have to have the area around the fans. The fan, I think these are out, outtakes. But we have to have that area flat and straight too, so it all matches up. Hmm. This one is a little harder because that area is so small over here up in that corner. So I think we're going to start out with that one, set it down, and I can always reposition if I need to. which I just needed to. This one's a little harder. Yeah, because that side is so skinny. So hard. Good. 
So far, so good. Oh, got a little curve issue going on. We don't want to make that permanent, so we got to roll back and reapply. There we go, fix that. Just another, you know, way I got to remind even myself. Don't force stuff. Be patient. Rome wasn't built in the day. And this ain't going nowhere. I need to get that lining just perfect. There we go. That line's perfect. Now this line's next. I can roll back just a hair if I need to, but I've already, already seated that spot. So now we're going to do this spot here. This is probably the hardest spot that I've encountered so far. Just because you have to be so precise with those fan cutouts. I'm sure the other side is not going to be any different. But these are the ones that make or break it because they're going to be the most visible when you're looking at the sides and lines and spacing. So you make sure you do this right or you'll regret it later. So spend the extra time, put some music on, relax Jackson, and just go with the flow. If you need lift, reapply, use a squeegee, Roll, just roll it on. Don't force it on. Just roll it on nice and slow. Without any creases in there. Because they will be visible forever. Especially if you force it. Nobody ever said it had to be perfect. Yours might end up being just a tiny bit off from mine. Don't feel bad. I might have messed up a couple spots myself. But overall, I don't think I did. <laughs> or at least not bad. Uh, I'm taking my time. It's looking great. I know all of you watching this can do the same thing too. So don't feel... It's like Ratatouille. You know, everybody can be a cook. That's true. Everybody can do stuff like this. Just be patient. Don't rush it. Take your time. If it takes you a couple hours just to do one side of it, like, who cares? It's a hobby. And it's for something you, that you love. You like to game. You like to have nice high-end stuff and keep it nice. Well, take your time. If it's something nice that you're doing, it should look nice. and should be reflective of your interest. Sure that's seated good on the edge or on the fan cutoffs that line on the bottom of the fans a really skinny small one which was really hard <laughs> to work with perfect all right it's coming together really good i really like and i did of course you can probably see a one tiny little tiny little spot right there does it bother me? No, it's so minuscule and small. Like, no. Nobody's going to nitpick about that. Nothing's perfect. Not even me. Boy, yeah, look at this one. This one's going to be hard. Boy, that one's going to be hard. So let's make sure that this is clean. 
Haven't done a clean check in a while. There we go. <laughs> and let's get this laid down. Let's get it laid. Boy, how am I gonna do this? I think the easiest way is going to be kind of hold it like this, lightly position it down without it sticking to my fingers. There we go. Lightly position down until we can see all the holes and then we'll do the top and the bottom from there. Okay, there's the first hole. You're gonna ruin that adhesive. I'm talking to myself as much as I am to you guys. Don't ruin the adhesive. Come on, come on, Tyler. Oh, if you guys didn't know, my name is Tyler, by the way. How does that look? Line spacing all right. Boy, it's right up there. But I think it works. I think it will work, I should say, if we position it down just a hair. We're going to use the same distance for spacing that we have over on the right hand side laid down already, because I think that is perfect. And it's going to match up with this left hand side that we already laid down. So I need to use the distance between, and what's nice is a metallic laptop, I can actually see the uh, brushed metal between this red and the black rubber bumper there. I can see the color kind of shining through, so I can see the spacing pretty darn easy. Lift, lay, there we go. Try not to stretch. Should take care of itself. Pretty easy. I should corner out. Yep, too much stretching on that. Yep. Don't fight against it so much. Just kind of lay her down where she wants to go. that look creases or rollovers so I'm gonna lift that corner there a little harder when you have little tiny areas to work with so we're gonna do the outside and we're gonna work into that little corner let it lay itself down stuff like this is when I would want my heat done when I'm doing these tiny little pieces around the screw hole for like the corners that's where I would want my heat done if you guys have ever laid down vinyl you'll understand
There we go, got it. Got it. All right. Yeah, just take your time. Be meticulous. Don't push yourself. Don't. It's not a race. I probably do it slower than a lot of you people that are watching the video. You're probably like, hey, I'm going to fast forward through the majority of this because this guy is slow. Well, guess what? I don't care. That's okay. Because I'm doing it how I like it. And I'm making sure that it's done right. And I don't have mistakes and I'm not going to be writing bad reviews for this, these guys because I know that they put out a quality product that is easy to apply. All right, now we got the hard one. Speaking of easy, right? <laughs> now we got the hard part here. So I think I'm gonna lift this side up a little bit to make it easier for me. So I'm gonna get my old, my very first PC toolkit here, Memorex, if you remember that CD company, CDRs and whatnot. I'm gonna cover that with my micro. I'm gonna angle it up so I get a nice, nice uh, angle on it here. And let's get started. So first things first, I'm gonna do that tiny little, tiny, tiny, tiny little piece here, which is for the ethernet adapter, uh, quick access port. Having the right angle on everything makes it so nice. Boy, oh boy. Oh, and I didn't get it. So see how I'm lifting that up? I didn't push it all the way down yet. I wanna make sure that I get not only my inner edges spaced correctly, but my outer edge too. So I can tell if it's going on straight or if it's going on cockeyed. Perfect. Space correctly. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, I think we're done, guys. Thanks so much. No. <laughs> I wish. We got this hard shit left here. This is the only one that I've been dreading ever since I even ordered it because, as you can see, it's got these teeny tiny little areas like that where the vinyl is so thin, the vinyl cut is so thin that I don't want any issues. In fact, I'm not even gonna pull it off by itself. I'm gonna use my hand in that spot. Um, I just don't want any issues. Now the fan spacing sucks. Luckily there's only one hole that we have to worry about for screws. One hole die cut here. And static, I gotta worry about static a little bit as well. Oh, there is one other die cut that didn't get cut out there at their location. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to put this here on the sheet, and I'm going to get rid of that. Yep, missed one screw hole. They were really good about pulling their die cuts with all the others. This is the only one that they missed. So I'm not even gonna give him a dink on it. And look how easy that came out. Pretty easy. There it is. It's like a dimple. Yeah, it's like a dimple. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know if you call it a dimple. Or I don't know what you call it. A birthmark. <laughs> Rosacea or something. I mean, somebody had it on their face, yeah. Make sure there's nothing on the vinyl. I did get one little fuzzy on there, dang it. There it goes, okay.
Okay, so far so good. Can't pull these two pieces because you've got that center piece, which needs to be spaced. Fuck. Shoot. Really perfect. Luckily, they do give you two, but I'm not counting on using my second one because I would like to give it to one of use. Of course, you have to cover shipping because I'm not made out of money. And I don't get ad revenue because my channel is really small. I'm not a sellout, we'll just put it that way. <laughs> Although I could be for the right price. I think that's actually the definition of a sellout, so. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that gonna work? Without leaving creases there? Oh, it did. All right. It did work, I mean. Lift the corner, roll it in the center, move out from there. Tighten the edge so it doesn't bubble. Tight, push hard, in other words. There we go. There's one who just started. So we're gonna roll from the top down. There we go. Flexible, pliable, all the ports are visible. We're just getting everything laid down with no air bubbles. This red color kind of reminds you of like Deadpool. I mean, just the, the tone of it, the color. It's pretty subdued, um, almost like a blood red. Not dark enough though, but looks cool. So we got the bottom done. Got the bottom done, looks good. I think so anyway. Now we're gonna do this side here, the IO panel. Make sure there's no dust on there. I'm gonna pause it for one second and be right back. All right, and I'm back. Just had to grab something to drink. Okay, so now that I'm back, let me look at this. So we got cutouts for the screws. That's really smart of them. Uh, we've got power cutout. We got our SD card, our mini display port. Some of these. Yep. HDMI, USB, and two Thunderbolts or USB three. Point two Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt four, I believe, capable. Anyway, uh, yeah, cool. Let's get that seated, and I want that angle a little higher even. So I'm gonna see if there's anything else laying around that I can use for stability. Well, we got a candle, a Scooby Doo candle, a tack of the jack o' lantern. Uh. I'm going to put my Memorex pack on top of that. We're going to put our microfiber on top of that. And we'll just see how that works. Make sure the bottom of my laptop's not going to go spinning around. I just want something to hold it or brace it up just for a moment while I'm working on it. Um, that doesn't look perfect. Sorry, guys. I was getting a phone call. That, yeah, that might hold. No, it's already slipping and sliding around. Yeah, so we're just gonna do this uh, in my lap and I will pause it and we'll show you guys what it comes out looking like. All right, gotta say, pretty happy with that. Man, that laid out nice. The only spot that was concerning was right above the power. You got such a small, thin little sliver of a line, but it laid down perfect. So, yep, very happy with that. Now for the fun part. I mean, hey, this has all been fun. What do you mean? Well, now we get to wrap everything on the inside, other than the keys, right? Make sure the lines all here feel good on the monitor, or on the lid, I should say. These still need to be cut pretty good for the numbering on the lid. So I'll go around later, I'll do those. But overall, 
I am giving these guys, I mean, as accurate as they are for some of these spots, not, it's not generic at all. I mean, like you can tell, they did their own measurements, they did a really good job of it. And I hope auto, okay, it did auto turn on. Let me get that turned off right away. I guess it don't really matter. I mean, you can apply on the keyboard side if it's turned on. <laughs> All right, we got it shut down. We've got the uh, inside cleaned off really well. Let me get my phone repositioned here. One second. There we go. And we're going to get rolling. So, interior. There we are. I wonder what these bars are. Oh, these are the sidebar. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm looking at it this way. There we go. Uh huh. Well, might as well get the hardest one out of the way first. Pull too hard. If it feels like it's going to warp without being able to pull itself off, always just pull it off on your own. Now this again is going to cover up that core i7 on the right hand side, which, do I care? No. Would I ever buy something that's AMD besides an ROG ally or something handheld or something gimmicky? No. Not for my main daily driver, laptop, or desktop. Intel all the way. All the way, baby. I'm not faulting any of you guys who have poor judgment and choose AMD, though. No fault. And if AMD wants to sponsor me, I will probably not change my opinion, but we'll roll with the punches. We'll go from there. Yep. Now, this has a little bit of a tapered 45 degree angle on top. So, you need to. Push that one down, probably inside. Start from the inside, go to the edge, and then down from there. Inside, edge, down. See how I did that? Inside, edge, down. Inside, edge, down. Make sure you cut that really nice. You want it to look good. And you want it to stay. Now get all the bubbles out. We don't need a squeegee. Just use my hands for this. This part's pretty easy. Yeah, this piece set real well. Okay. Next up, we got our check pad. <laughs> this one should be pretty easy too. We're gonna go from the bottom, from the windows to the walls. That's what we're doing on this one. How sexy that looks. And my biggest concern was that it wouldn't feel good if I went with the carbon fiber. I wanted the carbon fiber for looks, but for the trackpad, I knew carbon fiber would have felt really weird and wonky after a while. That feels really good. And it's going to keep everything nice. I'm not going to have any palm wear on this. I'm not going to have any like visible you know, rashes and dings and bangs and stuff like that. Because... Got kind of it wrapped and wrapped with something high quality like this. Like, can't go wrong. All right, so enough of my yakking and talking. Let's uh, figure out what's what. Well, I can already see what's what here. There we go. This shorter edged piece is going to be towards the screen. So, I think we should probably do the bottom one first since it's already facing me. We're going to do the side trim later, but we're going to do this bottom one since it's already kind of facing me in the right area, or the right orientation, and we'll go from there. After I have a little bit of vape, which is coconut lime. Yeah. 
Coconut Lime Refresher. Oh, how refreshing. Wow, that was quite refreshing. After a hot day in the sun, I love my lime refreshers. Um, gosh, this one's kind of hard. There's so many little tabs on this. I kind of like doing the tabs on the uh, the bottom of the laptop because the larger ports, larger fan ports, cooling area, it was easier to get the spacing correct, but I just got this one perfect. No complaints here. Again, edge down, or center down. Center down, center down. I'm just going from the tabs down. Basically rolling down. And then we're gonna work on the edge from there. Nice and easy, we don't wanna scrape and scratch. Don't need to manhandle any of this stuff. It's so nice and easy. High quality, wow. Okay. And no, I'm not sponsored by these guys. My channel's too small again to have any kind of sponsorship or anything, so. There we go. Turn it on. I did. Being colored like this, it kind of reminds me of the Alienwares from days past, you know, like when they used to come out with really cool colors back when I was a kid. The original ones before Alienware, or before. Dell bot anywhere, I should say. Um, I guess Dell still did the colored ones for a while, but they weren't quite as standout as the ones from. Just unique, you know. And they used to have people's names on them. They'd come with a little book that said, uh, you know, everything that had been done and tested on that specific system itself. Like big attention to detail. So this part's going to be hard. Let me go ahead and shut this down. I'm gonna turn it around myself, get this applied, and we'll start the video again. So I'm gonna have to use a little bit of a heat gun. The spacing on these did not check out completely. I actually ended up using both strips on this one, but I can save and salvage the other one. But I am gonna have to use my heat gun a little bit. So I just wanna let you guys know you wanna at least cover up the screen where you're gonna do it. So I'm sure this will happen to other people at the same spot. This is definitely the hardest piece here out of the whole thing. So I'm going to heat it up just lightly, and we'll see if I can fix it. Yep, heat gun to the rescue. It's perfect now, but something to mention, if you're going to be using heat gun anywhere around a laptop or a computer or something with the screen on it, like, use your common sense. Don't burn stuff up. Just barely touch it as much as you need to so you can shrink that vinyl back up, sinks it back in. So... Stuff like this piece, it's unavoidable to have a little bit of stretching on these tiny little pieces in between those hexes. So, those little honeycomb, you know, slots for the venting. So, something to, you know, be mindful of, but just be careful with it in the future. Uh, that's something that I will have to be a little more careful of, or, or maybe mask off a lot more the unit if I know that I'm going to have to use any, uh, any actual heat gun or heat source but I didn't anticipate it with these guys but I had to there but once I did it was pretty easy it only took me one minute and I had it looking good looking sharp speaking of looking sharp I want this to kind of line up with with what I've already got rolling so what I'm going to do is go in from an angle like so I 
that one looks good. And we're going to go ahead and get the other side. In fact, this other side, though, I see up here, it's actually at a little bit of an angle. So I may lift this side up, use my heat gun, shrink it in a little bit, and curve it around so it touches the top portion there. I wish this was one whole piece. That would have made life so much easier. That's one recommendation that I will give to them is that, hey, just make this one actual die cut instead of two pieces together and trying to match them up. Like, what a pain in the butt that is. So I already sank this in pretty good, so I may have to... Nope, there we go, got the corner started. I don't want to tear it. So, yeah, we're going to cover up the screen again. Make sure it's not a page that has staples exposed. There we go. And let's get that heated up just a hair. Just enough to work with it, warm it up with a hair, make it flexible. There we go. Just enough to get that sucker flexible. And lift that corner, roll her back. Without ripping, without tearing. Yeah, that heat just makes life so much easier. And we're gonna line it up on the top first. So it's matched with that other little piece that we put down. The upper portion of the sticker, or the vinyl, I should say. We just gotta make it look sharp, guys. And if these two pieces aren't touching, it will look poopy. There we go. So those two pieces are and with the heat, it's easy to do this because I don't have to peel the whole thing off. Vinyl is pretty forgiving stuff. Strip that edge. Roll it back. Straight down. On both sides. There we go. That looks good. Yeah, I love vinyl. Pretty malleable, easy stuff to work with. That's why it shouldn't ever come out looking bad if you spend time with it. There we go. They're touching. Looks good. Now let's get this bar, and then I think we're done. Overall, my only gripe is this upper part. I give them a 9 out of 10 if they'd only connected these two together. Like, there's gonna be a lot of people putting this thing together that are complaining and griping and moaning. Because let's face it, like, uh, that was really hard. But granted, they did give you two, so that's why it's not an eight. They get a 9 out of 10 rating because they gave us two sets of uh, skins or wraps, whatever you want to call it. This is 3M vinyl wrap, specifically made for doing wraps. That's what this material is. And that's what makes it a little more you know, capable for doing things like I just did with the heat for repositioning without having any issues. But there we are. There we are. Let's look over. So all in all, I think it turned out pretty darn good. bit of metal visible 
little bit of metal visible here, edging. But what do you expect? I mean, it's not like we dipped the whole laptop or did a custom paint job. Saved a heck of a lot of money doing it this way. And I think it looks really good, really sharp. What do you guys think? I know it's a long video, but uh, I just wanted to show and do a real life install and show you guys what this looked like. So for me, I think this took me about a hour and 20 minutes because there were a couple spots where I paused, but not for very long. So anyway, I'm very happy with it. I think it's gonna look really cool turned on with my light red or whatever color I choose. I think it's gonna look really cool. So yeah, I give these guys armor suit nine out of 10. Thanks for watching, stay tuned.